To find the oxidation numbers for K2CO3, potassium carbonate, we'll use these rules here. Potassium carbonate is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus sign out here. And if we have a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So that's something that's good to know. For potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. And we can see that elements in group one, they have a plus one oxidation number. So each potassium atom here has a plus one oxidation number. When we're dealing with something like CO3, we should recognize that this is the carbonate ion. So the carbonate ion, that's one that we can look up or probably we should have memorized. So if we look at the carbonate ion, so for the carbonate, we can find that right here, and that has a two minus ionic charge. So let's remember that. If we have an ion, like the carbonate ion, the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So we said the charge on the carbonate ion was two minus. So the oxidation number on the whole carbonate ion, that's gonna be minus two. And that makes sense. We have minus two for this thing here, two times plus one, that's plus two. Plus two and minus two, that adds up to zero. So we're okay there. If you wanna find out the oxidation numbers just for the carbonate ion here, for each element, the carbon and the oxygen atoms in this carbonate ion, there's a card up here that explains how to do that. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for K2CO3 potassium carbonate. Thanks for watching.